high school baseball season is just getting started, and one of the better teams, as always, will be Hazleton area. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob Ide stopped by practice to check in on the Cougars. Since he was hired in 2018, former professional baseball player Russ Kanzler has led his alma mater to every Wyoming Valley Conference and District 2 4 6A championship. As he approaches a new season, the skipper knows the talent that's led the Cougars to that success has moved on to college. But don't count out Hazleton area just yet. I mean, we're ready to reload. You know, we're, we're playing challenging competition in our non-league schedule. We're trying to find the best 6A programs we can we can play here early to, to really find out what we're made of and, and what we need to work on. So these guys are eager. They've been working hard and, and you know, eager to prove themselves and who and who they are because they hear the talk, mm -hmm. too, about, you know, guys are gone and, and are they going to be as good as they were last mm -hmm. year? I mean, our standard and, and expectations are just as high, and, and these guys have been getting ready to work for that. The Cougars' success this season will once again come down to pitching. Left-hander Antonio Daganero will head to Pittsburgh in the fall, but before he moves on, he will be the ace of the staff. I mean, we lost a couple arms, but I mean, we've had guys younger that have been good, just haven't had the opportunity to throw as much because of those guys that we had before. But I mean, they're ready to go. We have guys coming back. It'll be good. Talk to me about what you want from yourself this year and describe yourself as a pitcher. Yeah, I mean, I just try and be the best competitor possible, uh, whatever I need to do to get out. Um, that's what that's really what the whole staff has to do. Just get out, compete, and we'll be good. Yeah, I mean, uh, throw fastball, change up curveball. Um, really just try and get people out. Talk to me about the pitching staff this year. Obviously, you lost some big arms to some big colleges, but you have some big arms still coming back. Yeah, um, Antonio Doganero going to Pitt, dog. Jonas Aponic going to um, George Washington, dog. I mean, everyone's just coming back, and we're excited. The lineup top to bottom will look different as well. The middle of the order is gone, and now the hitters will have to get runs a different way. Uh, we're going to probably play more of a small ball. You know, we're trying to figure out our lineup so far right now. It's not, it's not really set in stone, but mm -hmm. just trying to figure out the order right now. I think that the, the cool thing for us as coaches this year is in years past there was there was you know a lot of disparity between the starters and the guys that weren't playing I think right now it's you know it's open competition for a lot of guys to, to prove prove themselves and and guys are going to get opportunities to show what they can do the defending 6a champs are once again the favorite in district 2 to win another title the Cougars know they are the hunted and they like it that way but we take care of business first in the conference. You know, in, in district, same thing. I mean, we have to deal with Valley West and Wilkes-Barre. Del Val's good. They're off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Scranton's got a really good team this year. And then you have to deal with Williamsport. And we know that they're, they're always very talented. So, you know, I, I think it, it creates a good competitive atmosphere in our practices. And, and we, want, we want guys to be ready to play and compete. Bob Ide, Fox 56 Sports. Weather permitting, Hazleton area will return to action Tuesday when they take on Dallas.